stamps as you enter and exit. It slows us down at the entry and exit point, so just make sure that that badge is showing at all times and we'll know that you are good to go. So, Gene Meadows, does anyone here want to touch some animals today? Yeah? Okay. Do you want to touch a sea star? Raise your hand. Yeah. Do you want to touch a bat ray? Ooh, yeah. Who wants to touch a sea cucumber? Yeah, sea cucumber! Woo! You don't know what that is? You don't know what that is? Okay, I have a question. Is a sea cucumber an animal or a vegetable? What do you think? You eat, oh, I can't fool you. You know it's an animal, right? Okay, well, all of the animals in our touch pools are alive, and we want to be very gentle with them, okay? So let's all practice. Show me your two very gentle fingers. Good job. We're going to pretend the other hand is a sea star, all right? And we're going to touch the sea star very gently. <gasps> You're doing a great job. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to see any poking or pinching Kimba. or uh, no biting. Uh -huh. No bad. Yeah, so we're all going to touch it very gently. Good job. Now, where do these animals live? Like the sea star and the bat ray. Where do they live? In the ocean. Who agrees? Do they live in the ocean? Yeah. They live out there in the water. You and I breathe air. <gasps> But the sea stars and the cucumbers and the bat rays, they breathe underwater. They breathe water. So we want to keep all of the animals in the touch pool under the water, okay? All right, that's very important. And it's also very important. Make sure that your uh, chaperone touches an animal today, too. You definitely want to make sure they want to touch an animal. But here is a very cool animal that you will see today. What is this? A seahorse, that's right. Did everybody bring their little teeny tiny saddles? No? He ride the seahorse through the ocean? No? Oh, okay, that's okay. But a seahorse has a nice long curly tail that it hangs on to things with, just like a monkey hangs on to things. And it has a nice long snout. It kind of looks like a horse. But guess what? It's a fish. And these live underwater and you'll get to see sea horses and sea dragons today, okay? That's over here on the ground floor of our open sea building. That's where I'm going to be bringing everyone in in just a moment. Okay, now there's another fun animal that you will probably recognize. What is that? The clownfish! That's absolutely right! This is a clownfish and you'll find our tropical fish over in the Ocean's Edge building right next to one of my favorite exhibits. Oh. <laughs> if you want to scooch, scooch a little bit away, yeah. So we, the sprinklers go on and not and uh, discourage the birds from landing up there. But man, they got a lot of power going on right now. It's raining a little bit, just on that side right now. Uh, so I'm thinking of a bird that is black and white, and it does not fly, and it walks like this. Who knows? Who knows? Penguins! Yeah, penguins! We have 18 penguins from Africa here up in our Splash Zone exhibit. All right, we have a lot of fun areas for you to play up there, too. We've got a slide and costumes and some areas where you can splash around where you're supposed to get wet. Not bad over there. Uh, <laughs> but there's also an area up there called Coral Babies. Is anyone here a baby? No, we're big kids now, aren't we? We're big kids, right? So we want to save that area for babies and toddlers, all right? There's also inside the aquarium, we do have an escalator. Chaperones, if you could please make sure that the students are not playing on the escalator, we would really appreciate it. Now, I know that you're going to go get lunch to start out with. Um, so what, uh, chaperones, just to let you know, again, those stickers allow you to re-enter the aquarium. So now that you've kind of gotten a little bit of an orientation, you can, once you're done with lunch, you can come back in at the main entrance or this member's entrance right here. But if you could divvy up a little bit so that everybody isn't all going into one entrance, that would be very helpful. And so, again, just make sure that your stickers are showing, and that will allow you and the students to get into the aquarium today. <laughs> so, um, Gene Meadows, who are you going to stay with all day long? Your chaperones, right? Now, where are we going to keep the animals in the touch pool? 
Under the water. That's absolutely right. And is a sea cucumber an animal or a vegetable? It's an animal. That's right. Okay, so uh, students, I want you to stay right where you are. And then chaperones, if you want to uh, organize your groups, you can walk down uh, Hubden Way. And then I believe you're going to do your lunch uh, over at Steinbeck Plaza. Okay? And so you just take a left onto Cannery Row, and you'll see it right in front of uh, Bubba Gump's over there. They've got plenty of benches and trash cans and all that sort of good stuff. Well, thank you very much, Gene Meadows. Have a very good day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.